Hey guys, Cameron here. Today I'm going to do a review over the Thermal Ball Jacket by North Face. Now I've had mine for a few years now and I absolutely love it. Um, I use it as my everyday jacket during winter time and uh, obviously I carry it with me whenever I go backpacking and hiking. Absolutely love this jacket. So I want to go over a few uh, pros and cons of the jacket, tell you why I went with this one, and uh, just to do a short little review for you. So stick around. All right, so let's start off by talking about the fit of the jacket. I am six foot tall, about 190 pounds, and I wear a men's size large. Um, it fits me absolutely perfect. I love the way it fits. Um, the sleeves come down all the way, which is something that I struggle with buying like long sleeve t-shirts. Um, but these sleeves are a little bit longer, so they fit great. Um, when I do stretch my arms out like real, real far, um, they will come up about an inch. Um, but just for normal, everyday moving around, um, it covers me perfectly. Um, one thing I like about this jacket is it's not uh, super puffy, so it, it uh, doesn't get in the way whenever I'm doing some sort of activity, and it looks good um, just in my everyday uh, life and like casual wear. Um, this jacket is big enough to wear a couple layers underneath if you need to wear like a long sleeve t-shirt and a, another t-shirt, but you wouldn't put another jacket inside of this. Um, like I said, I like that it's not super puffy. Um, and it fits pretty close to my body. So you can actually wear this um, inside of another layer or like I'll throw a rain jacket on over top of this and it fits really well like that. Another thing to mention about the fit of the jacket is the way it seals around you. So it seals around the bottom to keep any sort of draft from coming in. And it also has um, elastic around the cuffs to keep draft from coming in there. Now I'll show you the way you adjust the bottom side is this little toggle right here, right inside of where the zipper's at. And you can pull this or loosen it up, um, depending on how tight you need it around the bottom. Um, and then the excess of that cord stores right inside the pocket. It just goes right through. So um, it's never hanging out or in the way or anything like that. Um, so once you get that sealed off the way you want, um, that's basically it. And I've, I never touch mine after I use it. So um, unless somebody else is going to wear the jacket that's a little bit bigger or smaller than you, you probably won't have to adjust that too much. Um, now the elastic around the cuffs, this is um, one of the cons about this jacket that I don't really care for. Um, it's a little bit loose and it's been like that. It hasn't just worn out. It's always been like that. So it's great for if I'm wearing gloves, perfect for gloves going down inside and getting a good seal. But when I don't wear gloves, like I do most of the time around here, um, it does have a little bit of a gap there and I don't really care for that. Um, but I guess that's better than it being really tight on your skin all the time. Um, so that's pretty much it for the fit. Um, like I said, good seal around the bottom, good seal around the top. And you can zip it all the way up and you'll have a good layer all the way around your neck. Now this isn't super tight either, which you're not going to want to because you don't want to strangle, but uh, it does have a pretty good seal around there. And definitely if you're wearing uh, some sort of little light scarf or like I'll wear a buff in there, um, that completely seals it off and it fits perfect. Um, most of the time I'm going to wear mine down like this with the collar tucked down. Whenever I am out hiking or backpacking and it's really cold, I will go ahead and throw that All up. right, so let's talk about what makes the thermal ball jacket a little bit different. So now, what North Face did was instead of going with a synthetic fill that's just like a solid synthetic sheet in your jacket um, or down, they created something called the thermal ball, which is like a synthetic representation of a down cluster. So down, it packs smaller and it's lighter weight than synthetic, but if down gets wet, then down loses its thermal properties and uh, won't keep you insulated. So synthetic will keep you warm um, whenever it's wet, but it's really bulky and uh, it takes up a lot of space, a little bit heavier than down. Um, so they kind of made a compromise. The thermal ball is synthetic, so it will keep you warm even if this jacket gets wet. And um, it also will pack up fairly small. And that's one thing that makes this jacket really innovative. Um, you can see the pattern each one of these little squares is packed with the thermal ball insulation and uh, it keeps it in place so you always have your insulation where you need it. Um, you don't have to constantly be moving it around like maybe you would if you had a down jacket with horizontal baffles. Um, this keeps all your insulation in place and never have to worry about it, um, never really mess with it too much. Um, so it keeps you really warm. Now I would say I wouldn't wear this out in a downpour. I do wear a rain jacket over top of it, but I have worn this out in a really light rain for a moderate amount of time and um, it does keep you uh, pretty warm and dry. All right, so let's talk about a couple of the key features. This jacket does have pockets, which um, is an absolute must for me. Um, like I said, I don't wear gloves a whole lot, so I'll stick my hands in my pockets. Um, and so you have insulation over top of your hands there. 
which uh, keeps your hands warm. I really like the pockets. They're nice and big. Um, you can put some stuff in there, a cell phone or whatever you need to get to real easy. And so I really like those jackets. Um, one thing I like about this jacket is it's a semi-neutral color on the outside, but on the inside, it's really bright and flashy. And I really like that. Um, just something a little bit different, makes it a little more outdoorsy. Um, I'll wear it like this every once in a while, just opened up. Most of the time I keep my zip up. The zipper is great. It moves freely up and down, never gets snagged, anything like that. So uh, let me take the jacket off and I'll show you how it packs away in its own pocket. All right, so I've got my jacket off and this jacket will pack up inside itself in its own pocket. And I always have a hard time remembering which one it is, but it's actually the left-hand pocket. And one way you can figure that out is whenever you open up the pockets and look inside, uh, this little pull tab right here, um, this is the pocket that it tucks into. So basically all you do is grab that pocket and start tucking it inside itself. And so um, it's real easy to pack. Um, one thing I do like about this is since the inside is so bright, um, once I get this packed all the way down in here um, and I throw it down in my pack, it's real easy to look inside and find my uh, jacket inside uh, my pack because it is so bright. And that's basically it, packing it up. It packs up real small and real fast. Now, one other little con about this is it is a little hard to zip this pocket zipper back once you have this in there because you have so much stuffed into the pocket. So for me, I do have to kind of work it in there just a little bit to be able to get it uh, to fit because I don't want to zip up the jacket inside of the zipper because um, I don't want to tear any of the fabric or anything like that. So this is the jacket completely packed up and zipped. Um, you have this uh, little pull tab once you unzip it to be able to grab hold of and pull your jacket back out. This cord that's hanging out here, this is the drawstring for um, around the bottom um, and that's what is inside of the pocket. So that's how much I have mine cinched up. Um, it's cool that this jacket packs up like this. I know a lot of newer jackets are starting to do this, um, but this one's really cool. Um, once you get it packed like this, if you are a backpacker, um, you can use this as a pillow, which is something um, that I've done a couple times, or uh, it just packs really well inside of a pack or um, whatever you have to pack it in. So the thermal ball jacket weighs around 13 ounces, maybe slightly less. If you get the one that has the hood, which I don't have, um, it will weigh about an ounce more probably. Um, I have the one that's hoodless. That way I can wear it toboggan. I don't have something hanging off the back. Um, but North Face does make one with the hood. So if you are into that and really like that, um, that is an option. So to get your jacket back out, all you do is grab hold and unzip. Then I just reach inside grab as much as I can, and then pretty much fold the pocket inside out and the rest will come out. Now, uh, this jacket um, is fairly expensive, um, but not near as expensive as some down jackets. And that's one thing that uh, North Face can do by making a synthetic fill is sell it slightly cheaper than what you would get a down jacket for. Well guys, thanks a lot for checking out my review of the Thermal Ball jacket by North Face. Absolutely love it. I'm really glad I went with this one. Um, I don't really have any regrets of buying this jacket. Um, if you get one, uh, let me know what you think about it. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you down the trail.